Welcome, 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 one and all, to Joe of All Vapes Vape Cave. We're going to be talking about some hardware today. Before we get on to all that, thank you very much once again for joining me for Joe of All Vapes Reviews. If you are stopping by casually, stick around, guys. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Got a lot more awesome reviews coming up on hardware, accessories, e-juice, sometimes just to shoot the breeze. You know what I mean? I really appreciate you guys. So hardware, we're talking about the Freemax 5 milliliter Mesh Pro Metal Edition, okay? So Freemax made a big name for themselves, boom, I get a little tighter shot there, for being one of the first companies that came out, if not the very first company, that came out with the mesh coil design, and they are still sticking it strong. Ever since then, pretty much every prominent company has come out with a mesh coil design. It is absolutely, literally the best type of coil design that I have ever tried, okay? Because they got the wood pulp going on, which incidentally is literally just a very, very high grade type of cotton, but it uses different types of fibers for more uh, solid wicking, uh, better uh, heat and temperature threshold, and of course, very low flavor retention. Now, what do I mean by that? That means that once you've got one flavor in your tank and you have vaped the heck out of it, you wanna go to another flavor, vape what's left of the single flavor before swapping out, obviously, and then go to the next flavor. You're gonna taste very little of the last flavor onto the next flavor. That's very low flavor retention. But the number one thing that I have noticed from the new mesh coils, especially from Freemax, is the fact that not only do they last amazingly long, at least up to a month, even with just consistent use. And I'm not talking about massive, massive use, like you're just hitting it 40 times a day for a solid month, but for consistent use, you know, those of us that, you know, take our vape to work or something like that, a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the evening, mostly throughout the day, you can get the better part of a month out of that. But the flavor from the coil mesh tank is absolutely amazingly out of sight. And I got the rainbow edition awesomeness. I actually asked for that. They actually sent it to me. Who'd have known, okay? So we're going to take a little bit of an in-depth look below at the Freemax Metal Edition Mesh Pro 5 milliliter tank. Show you what's inside the box. We're going to take it out. We're going to fill it up. We're going to give it a little dance and we're going to bring it to a close. Okay, so here's what we're talking about, guys. The Freemax Metal Edition Mesh Pro 5 milliliter sub-ohm tank. Okay, let's take a look at some of the specs. 25 millimeter in diameter, pretty typical and standard for these days. Six milliliter maximum juice capacity. Uh-oh, but it says five. So we'll figure out what's going on with that right there, guys. Optional five milliliter and four milliliter juice capacity slimmer profile. So that pretty much explains that, doesn't it? Mesh Pro coil system. Canthal single mesh, 0.15 ohm, ready for 40 to 70. Well, you can pretty much read the rest of that. Convenient push button type of top fill design. That's pretty well known these days. Dual bottom airflow control with a stop point, wide bore 810 drip tip, and of course a gold plated 510 thread connection. And boom, ain't she pretty? Okay, she's actually very, very gorgeous. And this is actually really just kind of a huge tank. I mean, it might not look like that on camera, but it really is super, super big. First of all, I noticed the diamond cutting pretty much on every square inch of this thing other than the glass. It's really solid, incredibly heavy, and it, there's that stopping point on the air intake, like I was telling you, on the bottom, okay? Freemax, Mesh Pro, boom. So you see this little red dot right there. Check that out. Top filling. There you have her, okay? with your 510 drip tip. Of course, that comes right off. You can swap that out with pretty much whatever you want. And take a look at what we got on the inside, just for kicks. Okay, there's the top cap, glass bubble sleeve, and the ginormous mesh coil engine on this bad boy. Okay, I need an extra set of fingers. So this is the humongoid coil on this thing and it really is a large coil so this is the 16 to 90 watt 0.2 ohm that's a really really good ohm for me from freemax of course you got the double mesh coil going on right there okay mesh coil is pretty much what it's all about these days so the overall design is pretty simple i mean it's it's um it's very reminiscent of pretty much most 
sub ohm tanks on the market these days, especially anything similar enough to this. Once Freemax came out with a mesh coil, a lot of other good companies, like I said, pretty much copied very similar designs, just turned it into their own um, type of game here. So we're gonna screw this coil right back in. The threading is very smooth, I might add. A lot of these times, a lot of times some of these tanks that you get, you know, you have to kind of fumble around with them and sometimes they screw in at a weird angle or something like that. And it's just no fun. So the spare coil, I'm just gonna take it out of this little package right here. And uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is the 0.15 rated from 40 to 70. You can see it's shaped just a little bit differently. Also, it is a single mesh coil as opposed to the dual mesh coil. So the dual and the single, some people say that uh, the difference between the two is flavor. Some people say that it's a little bit warmer on one than it is on the other. Of course, then there's the whole, well, I mean, is it, is it allow for as much um, uh, vapor capacity as, as other ones do? And you know what, it, it really just kind of depends on um, sometimes the device you're using and of course sometimes the liquid that you're using. But we're gonna test this out with a 0.2 ohm that they have in there. 60 to 90 watts, typically I don't go above 70 on most anything that I vape, but so you got that little extendo bubble glass right here. Now looking at the front of the package, you got five milliliters with the standard linear bubble glass that is already on the tank. Pretty much thinking that that's what they're talking about is in terms of the five milliliter, but you turn the box around, it's a six milliliter maximum juice capacity. Looks to me like that's coming from this obvious big boy bubble glass sleeve. We're not gonna bother with that at the moment though. So I'm just gonna put that right back in the box. Gonna make this nice and super simple and just deal with what they've given us with the five milliliter tank on the Mesh Pro. And just for kicks and giggles, we're gonna take a quick look-see through what they've given us in our little manual here. The double and triple mesh coils are also available for the Mesh Pro. The mesh coils give the user a wide surface area for the cotton to heat evenly for unrivaled flavor and cloud production with a very efficient wicking. Ain't that pretty much what I told you from the get-go. Okay, so this is what we're talking about, guys. Standard, super standard stuff going on here, okay? Five and four milliliter juice profile capacity is the slimmer profile, like I said, on the cover of the box. All the rest of this stuff is, well, I mean, this is all stuff you could pretty much see in your sleep. Um, very, very common information. So we're gonna put this right back in the box. At this point, I'm just gonna take it up and I'm going to put a little bit of juice in this guy and then we're gonna test this bad boy out. Okay guys, so we got the Freemax Mesh Pro Coil Tank Middle Edition. Okay, so I've actually got two devices we're gonna test this out on. First one is my iJoy Avenger mod, and that's pretty much because I wanna be able to manipulate it manually from the bottom of the barrel for the wattage up to the full 90 watts on this bad boy. The other one that I've got is the iJoy Wand mod. This is an unregulated mod, but it also tops out at 100 watts. So, I, you know, I mean, without putting in the contingencies of the, uh, you know, the amps and the voltage output and blah, 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 I can still put in a uh, top out of uh, 90 watts on the iJoy uh, Diamond Sub Ohm tank here with their own mesh coils, and I never get a burn, ever, 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 okay, because of the regulations and um, you got all the uh, safety features and measures and everything like that. It's never gonna go past anything that is going to destroy my mod. So first of all, we're gonna take this Diamond tank and I'm going to put on the Mesh Pro. Seriously, this thing probably weighs about a pound. I mean, it is really just a hefty piece of machinery. And I'm actually going to put in a little Lady Luck from Cloud Patrol, which is actually from my friends over at the Cloud Vapory. This one, uh, if you're not familiar with Lady Luck, it is a cantaloupe cream flavor, okay? Now, a lot of people, they will prime their coil. They will actually literally take the coil out and they'll put the liquid inside the cotton and the material and they will actually prime it that way. Can you do it that way? Absolutely. You can do it whatever way you want. Usually what I do is I literally just put the liquid in the tank and I just kind of let it sit for a couple minutes and I let it saturate and I let it do its thing. It seems to work pretty good for me on that end. Okay, so first I'm gonna do something just a little bit lighter in flavor. 
little sweet candy menthol action just to kind of quench the taste buds to prepare me, if you will. And uh, see what this bad boy's at. Now, I'm at it about 70 watts, and remember this, the double co uh, mesh coil one right here, tops out at about 90. So 70 has usually always been a good place for me, like I said. So, decent amount of cloud production. Not super, super hot, and I actually like that. I don't care for a massively overly warm vape, but this one really, really does the trick. Flavor production is really, really solid. This is a light flavored e-liquid as is. One of my favorites, and it's actually given me just enough flavor and cloud production as well as warmth to give me exactly where it is that I want to be with this. So I'm actually going to drop this up, raise it up, I should say, to 75 watts. A little bit of a thicker cloud, a little bit of a warmer vape, and the flavor intensifies as it goes up. So I'm going to try this bad boy out, definitely uh, with the single uh, mesh coil, and see what I get from that. I'm going to take the diamond tank off of my wand here, and uh, screw this bad boy on the wand, and see what kind of hit that gives me. Now this is not fully charged, but I mean, take a look at this bad boy, man. That is absolutely gorgeous. I joined Freemax together at last. Okay, so let's give this a little dance. Okay, so I would say that's probably hitting anywhere between about 65 to 70 watts at the moment. Like I said, this isn't fully charged because this is one of my go-to mods, but this is an absolutely beautiful mod. I'm actually just kind of taken away by the overall construction design. The shape, like I said, is fairly reminiscent of the Diamond Sub-Ohm tank. And this is just by example, guys. You can see it's fairly reminiscent. It's about the same capacity milliliter-wise, same top filling. The one thing I will say about the Freemax Mesh uh, Metal Edition Sub-Ohm tank is that there's definitely a weight difference. Like I said, this thing is absolutely thick. It weighs probably about a half a pound, I'd say. I'd be surprised if anything less than that. I'm curious now, I've gotta go weigh this thing. But so far, I'm really loving the vapor output from it. It's nice and sturdy. I'm not getting any type of residual leakage. I will test that further and let all you guys know. I'll probably just leave this thing tipped on its side overnight. That's usually what I do with the new stuff. I'm liking the vaping experience from this, guys. It's a really, really beautiful quality. The craftsmanship seems to be incredibly solid. One thing I love about this thing is that it's got that stopping point for the air intake. A lot of people much don't care about that one way or the other. I do. It just alleviates things that you don't need to have to worry about or even think about. Second nature type stuff, you know what I mean, guys? So, if you guys are interested in the Freemax Metal Edition Mesh Pro Tank, Check out the link below in the comment section. I'll try and put in as much information on this as possible. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or queries, you can always DM me on Instagram, give me an email at joelvolvapes at gmail.com, or simply message me here. These things retail, I've seen, for anywhere between 30 to 45 bucks at the cheap end, 60 bucks at the hefty one. I'll try and give you some information on where you can get this thing as cheap and inexpensive as possible. Always try and do my best to help out a fellow vapor make their lifestyle just a little bit more fun. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, so that wraps it up for the Freemax Metal Edition Mesh Pro Tank. We've got another tank from Mesh Pro coming up here. That's going to be introduced a little bit later on in the next week. Keep an eye out on that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you'll never see it. So check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. Give me a follow over there. Definitely give me a subscribe here on YouTube. Catch all the latest reviews. I've got a ton of reviews coming up, guys, and some very special projects coming up here in the future. Also want you guys to do me a favor and check out the links below in the comment section that's going to take you everywhere you need to be for vaping advocacy, folks. After the 10th, of course, everything that we put on YouTube, all the videos and every picture we post on Twitter and Instagram, basically any type of social media regarding e-liquid, anything that contains nicotine, not including devices, 
has to come with a warning label. It is what it is, guys, but we've got to be the mature and responsible adults that we are to convey the message to everybody. Be the example you want the world to see and what we are trying to fight for, folks. Okay, vaping saves lives. I am a firm believer in that and I am an advocate. If anybody has any questions about advocacy, maybe you have never been an advocate, but you want to be, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I'll send you in all the right directions and all the right people that'll help you out with that. Okay, guys, let's keep this moving and grooving and enjoy the lifestyle that is making us a lot healthier and a lot happier to be able to hang out for the rest of our lives longer and happier folks they get to hang out with our kids all the longer you know what i mean so this is joel vol vapes your eye in that vaping sky wishing you to stay humble as ever love yourselves love each other keep it eternally cloudy folks and as always pinky out hey everybody this is joel vol vapes thank you for watching for the best in vape reviews pound that subscribe button and don't forget vaping saves lives